Hello and welcome to today's devotion. I'm so glad you've taken the time to join me today. Whether you're listening in the middle of a hectic day or perhaps finding a quiet moment in the morning or evening, I believe that God has something special to say to you right now. Life can often feel like a whirlwind with challenges and uncertainties that can leave us feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or even lost. But in the midst of all that life throws at us, there is a truth that stands unshaken, but truth that can anchor your soul and bring you peace, God's unfailing love for you. This love is not just a concept or a distant idea, it's a reality that has the power to change your life. God's love is constant, unwavering, then steadfast. It's the kind of love that holds you up when you're too weak to stand, the kind of love that wraps around you like a warm blanket on a cold night. No matter what you're facing today, whether it's fear, uncertainty, pain, or doubt, God's love is there to sustain you, to carry you through, and to remind you that you are never alone. Today, I want to take some time to remind you of this incredible love, a love that doesn't depend on your circumstances, a love that remains the same yesterday, today, then forever. Let's explore what the Bible has to say about this love and discover how understanding and embracing God's unfailing love can transform your heart, your mind, and your entire life. Let's begin our journey into understanding God's unfailing love with a powerful verse from the book of Psalms. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Psalm 103 verse 8 ESV This verse is a profound declaration of who God is and how He relates to us. It encapsulates the very heart of God's character, merciful, gracious, patient, and overflowing with steadfast love. It's not just a fleeting or occasional love, it's an enduring, unchanging love that God pours out abundantly upon us. Let's take a closer look at what this verse is really saying. When it describes the Lord as merciful and gracious, it's highlighting two fundamental aspects of God's nature. Mercy speaks of God's deep compassion for us, His willingness to withhold the punishment we deserve because of His great love. Grace, on the other hand, refers to the unmerited favor He extends to us, the blessings, kindness, and salvation that He freely gives, even though we could never earn them. Now, the verse goes on to say that God is if slow to anger. This is incredibly important to understand because it reveals the patience of God. We live in a world where anger can flare up quickly and relationships can be shattered in moments of rage. But God is different. He's not quick to anger. He doesn't lose his temper with us even when we fail, even when we fall short. Instead, he's patient, giving us time to repent, to return to him, and to experience his forgiveness. But perhaps the most powerful part of this verse is the description of God's love. The psalmist tells us that God is abounding in steadfast love. This isn't just a little bit of love, or love that appears only when we're doing well, this is love that is abundant, overflowing, and never-ending. It's steadfast, which means it's firm, loyal, and unwavering. God's love is not dependent on our actions or our circumstances, it's rooted in His very nature. Think about that for a moment. In a world where so much is uncertain, where even the people we love the most can sometimes let us down, God's love is like a rock, a solid foundation that you can always count on. No matter what you're going through, no matter how many times you've stumbled or felt unworthy, God's love for you doesn't diminish. It remains as strong and as steady as ever. And when the verse says that God is rich in mercy, it's a reminder of His incredible patience and willingness to forgive. He doesn't hold grudges, He doesn't keep a record of wrongs. Instead, He's always ready to forgive, always ready to restore, no matter what you've done. God's love is so rich, so full of mercy, that He continually reaches out to us, offering us a fresh start, a new beginning, every single day. This is the kind of love that God has for you, a love that is merciful, gracious, patient, and steadfast. It's a love that you can depend on, a love that will never fail you, no matter what. So today, let this truth sink deep into your heart, God's love for you is unwavering, unshakable, and it's more than enough to carry you through anything you face.
Let's now turn our attention to the words of the Apostle Paul in the book of Romans where he powerfully captures the depth and magnitude of God's love for us. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8 NIV This verse is one of the most profound statements in all of Scripture. It reveals the heart of the Gospel, the very essence of God's unfailing love. Paul is telling us that God's love is not just spoken, it's demonstrated, it's proven in the most extraordinary way. How? By the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Let's break this down a bit. Paul says, while we were still sinners, think about that. God didn't wait for us to clean ourselves up, to fix our mistakes, or to become worthy of his love. No, while we were still sinners, broken, flawed, and utterly distant from him, God chose to love us. And he didn't just love us from a distance, he entered into our mess, into our brokenness, and offered the ultimate act of love, he sent his son, Jesus, to die for us. This is not a love that depends on our performance. It's not a love that we have to earn or deserve. In fact, there is nothing we could ever do to make ourselves deserving of such a love. But that's the beauty of God's grace. His love is a gift freely given regardless of our past, our failures, or our sins. The cross is the greatest demonstration of God's love. It's a love that doesn't wait for us to be perfect because God knows we never could be. Instead, it's a love that meets us right where we are, in our lowest points, in our darkest moments, and offers us something we could never achieve on our own, redemption, forgiveness, and a restored relationship with God. Christ's death on the cross is the ultimate proof of God's unfailing love. It's a love that doesn't waver even in the face of our rebellion, our sin, and our rejection of Him. Jesus didn't die for us because we were good, he died for us because we were lost, and his love was so great that he was willing to pay the highest price to bring us back to God. So how should we respond to this incredible love? First and foremost, let it sink in. Let the truth of God's love penetrate your heart. Understand that God loves you not because of who you are or what you've done, but because of who he is. His love is not conditional, it's part of his very nature. God is love and his love for you is steadfast and unchanging. When you truly grasp the depth of God's love, it changes everything. You don't have to strive to earn his approval or work to make yourself worthy of his love. You can rest in the assurance that his love is already yours fully and completely. This love is enough to carry you through whatever challenges you face, whatever doubts or fears you may have. In a world where love is often conditional, where we are told we have to earn acceptance and prove our worth, God's love stands in stark contrast. It's a love that says you are loved just as you are. You are loved in your brokenness, in your struggles, in your doubts. And because of that love, you can find peace, hope, and strength to face whatever comes your way. So today, take a moment to reflect on this truth, God's love for you is unfailing. It's a love that was demonstrated in the most powerful way through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And because of that love, you can live in the freedom and joy of knowing that you are deeply, unconditionally, and eternally loved by God. Let God's love be the foundation of your identity. In a world that constantly tries to define you by your achievements, your failures, your status, or even your mistakes, it's easy to lose sight of who you truly are. The voices around us, and sometimes even within us, can be loud telling us that we are not enough, that we have to earn our worth, or that we are defined by our shortcomings. But today, I want to encourage you to let something far greater define you, God's unfailing love. When doubts arise, and they will, when you question your worth or when the weight of your past mistakes tries to drag you down, remember this powerful truth, God's love has already spoken the final word over your life. Before you were born, before you ever took your first breath, God's love for you was already established. It's not contingent on your performance, your success, or your failures. 
It's rooted in his very nature and it's been poured out over you through Jesus Christ. Think about that for a moment. You are loved beyond measure. This isn't a love that can be quantified or limited. It's not a love that fluctuates with your circumstances or diminishes when you fall short. God's love is infinite, boundless, and unchanging. It's a love that sees you fully, every flaw, every fear, every hidden part of you, and still chooses to embrace you completely. When you feel unworthy, when the lies of inadequacy or shame start to creep in, stand firm in the truth that God's love is your true identity. You are not defined by the labels others place on you or even by the harsh judgments you may place on yourself. You are defined by the love of God, a love that calls you his beloved child, a love that declares you are precious in his sight. And here's the most reassuring part, nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate you from that love. The Apostle Paul makes this clear in Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 where he writes, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 NIV this means that no matter what comes your way, whether it's trials, fears, doubts, or even the forces of darkness, nothing has the power to tear you away from God's love. His love is a constant presence, an unbreakable bond that holds you close to Him no matter where life takes you. So today, I encourage you to rest in this truth. Let God's love be the unshakable foundation upon which you build your life. When the storms of life rage, when insecurities threaten to overwhelm you, stand firm in the knowledge that you are deeply and eternally loved by God. Let this love shape your identity, guide your steps, and fill you with the confidence that comes from knowing that you are cherished by the Creator of the universe. You don't have to strive to prove your worth or earn God's love, it's already yours. Embrace it, live in it, and let it be the foundation of who you are. In God's love, you are secure, you are valued, and you are never alone. No matter what comes your way, hold on to this truth, you are loved beyond measure, and nothing can ever separate you from that love. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your unfailing love. Thank you that, despite our flaws and failures, your love for us never changes. Help us to live in the light of that love every day, finding our security, identity, and hope in you alone. May we experience your love in deeper ways and reflect it to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. As you go about your day, hold on to this truth, God's love for you is steadfast, it's sacrificial, and it's unfailing. No matter what you face, you can rest in his love, knowing that he is with you, for you, and will never leave you. Thank you for joining today's devotion. Remember, God's love for you is unfailing. Let that truth carry you through whatever lies ahead. God bless you. If you would like more about such devotional topics, please like and subscribe. We also welcome your comments, including the topics you would like us to cover. See you next time.